Hi, everybody. I'm Ralph Ben Murgi. Welcome to Yehopitzville, brought to you by Pear Tree Canada. We have uh, someone who I, uh, I've just met virtually by fishing around and having somebody say, hey, you might want to talk to her. Alice Frank Patry, Patry. Well, you know, I'm just starting to know how because I was just married a year ago, but I, I would say Patry. I grew up in Michigan, moved to the East Coast, you know, for my bat mitzvah age mm -hmm. and then have lived there for a long time. But also I've been very nomadic. So I've been based in New York, but a, quite a nomad on the planet. So it's not that strange for me to be a stranger. I came here during Trump, you know, everybody wanted to move to Canada. It was like the American dream was moving to Canada. And I did that. Everybody was so jealous of me. And I was like, where am I? I just felt like on a different planet in a way. So what brought you to Vaudreuil? Love. I got married. Um, I got married to somebody who I I met 15 years ago in New York City. If you don't mind my asking uh, a motherly question, is he Jewish? He's not. Okay, that's interesting. Yes. So you married somebody who isn't Jewish, moved yeah. to a place with like... The, no Jews. No, uh, there are no Jews where you live. <laughs> no. A lot of my early years of being Jewish was like lying in bed. I totally kept Shabbat, but by myself often, just lying in bed, reading the Parsha, reading the commentary, you know, just in love with it, in love. So I'm very used to going kind of on these sojourns for Shabbat. And also I'm very used to finding it inside my own bed, you know, with, within my own little sphere. How do you handle the I'm Jewish part? Do you find yourself putting it right out there or do yeah. you sort of hold it in and go, yes, I don't know if I want to I think this. I've always had like just a deep pride in the full spectrum of who I am and, and that the way that, the way that, that I approach things is by saying them out loud. You have moved to another country. That's not nothing. This, we, this is not America, as you may no, have noticed by really now. Not. <laughs> you have uh, been ordained as a rabbi while you're there, married to a non-Jew in a town with no Jews. <laughs> so it sounds like... Yehopitzville. It is Yehopitzville, but it's also, you know, jumping off uh, the, the, uh, the, the cliff and growing wings on the way down. I mean, you, you've decided... I'm going to make this work, even though if you put it on paper, it would be, ooh, I don't think yeah. so. A husband who isn't Jewish yeah, and a, a wife who is now a rabbi, he comes from something, you come from something. How do you bridge that? I think it's, it's about understanding the essence of a religion. I love the awareness that everything is one. That's what I love, right? right? That's poetry. Yeah. Yes. And that's what he knows. And that's what he loves. 